Now, here's the question that's been on a lot of people's minds lately, and that is, is my money safe in my bank? But I don't believe that is the real question. The real question is a lot more concerning to me. So I'm gonna tell you guys what I do to feel more secure about my hard earned money. Silver Joker here. Okay, so before we get started, I want to do a shameless product plug here. This is the Silver Joker coffee mug. This is one version. I do have several versions of this image on the coffee cup. I also sell other merchandise in my merch store. This one here is mine. If you want one, I will leave a link in the description so you can go and get you one and you can help support my channel. I appreciate it. Thank you. So the question is, is your money safe in your bank? And I believe that the answer to that is yes. Your money is federally insured to a certain point. And I believe a lot of us, the majority of people who bank, they fall well within that FDIC threshold of insured funds. I believe there's a bigger issue than that. An issue that is a lot more important than is your money safe in the bank? And that is, will you have access to it? You can have loads of money in the bank, but if you don't have access to those funds, or if your, fun, if your access is severely limited, that could be an issue. So what do you do about that? Well, these are the things that I do and have been doing to feel a lot more secure about my hard earned money. And one is, obviously, I stack physical silver. It's in my possession. I don't need to be granted access to it. In fact, I control who has access to it. I don't need some third party to facilitate any of the moves I make with my physical silver. The other thing I do is I have a debit card which allows me access to my bank account or the funds within my bank account without having to physically go down to the bank, which is gonna make it very convenient if the banks decide that they're gonna close their doors. Also, I have credit cards for emergencies. That way I can use credit to get the things I need without having to access the funds in my bank if they are being limited or restricted. And also, and this is the most important thing right now, is I keep cash on hand. I keep cash in my safe because until Walmart or shell gas stations start taking physical silver, I'm gonna need cash. I'm gonna need that promise. <laughs> and so I keep a good supply of that on hand just in case. Now look, I see no reason to panic. I get phone calls, family members, people I know, they call me, I have a podcast, I guess they kinda see me as somebody that may know this stuff. I just tell them, what I do and how I see it, my personal opinion about things. I make sure they know that, just like I'm making sure you know that. This is just my personal opinion, I'm no expert. All I'm saying is be prepared. The last thing you want is to need something and not have access to it. So the question is for me, not is my money safe in the bank? It's will I always have access to it? So ask yourself, I mean, if the banks close their doors, if your bank closed their doors today, right now, and you could not go to the bank to withdraw cash, how would you do it? How would you take care of the things you need to take care of? Now, I suggested a few things that I do that I know would be accessible to me if the banks close their doors today, but it doesn't have to be a financial disaster. It doesn't have to be an economic breakdown. I mean, the people that had their money in Silicon Bank and some of the other banks that are not doing so well, uh, it wasn't a financial collapse. It wasn't an economic Armageddon. So it could be just an isolated thing. So just ask yourself, what would you do? Are you prepared to exist 
financially without your bank giving you access to the funds you have in it. And that's all that's all I'm saying. That's all this podcast is about. It's not meant to scare you or introduce some idea that we're on the verge of some collapse or anything like that, but just be prudent. I mean, if you have money in a bank, have other means to get the things you need without having to access that money should that occur. And that's all I'm saying. And so I make contingencies for that. You know, I see a lot of podcasts, a lot of information online and here uh, in the Silverstein community about, you know, the banks, this may happen and what may happen if, you know, this happens and all this kind of stuff. But nobody's really talking about the practical way of surviving just a short term banking issue. If a bank restricts your access or severely limits the amount of withdrawal you can make. That right there is an issue that I believe is being overlooked. Sure, your money in your bank account is a concern of yours, but having access to it, I believe is a bigger concern. At least that's what concerns me more. And so that's really what I would suggest you think about. You know, that's what I think about. I'm not giving you financial advice because I am not qualified to do that. But what I have done in the past makes me feel secure about the preparations I've made. And so I'm just sharing that information with you, which is what my channel is all about. So if you got any questions about any of the things that I've shared with you today in this podcast about some of the preparations that I've made and some of the things that I do to kind of, you know, prepare for a banking issue, leave them in the comments. You know, I'll try to answer them the best way I can. There's lots of information online here in the Silverstein community. If you want to access other channels and other forms of information, it's there. But I would say just prepare yourself. You know, have some cash on hand. Put your hard-earned money in other places than just physical cash. You know, buy yourself some silver. Put some away just in case. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, um, <laughs> yeah, I get these questions in the comments. My last video, I'm just addressing that by telling you what I would do and what I think would work for me may work for you as well. Anyway, I appreciate you guys stopping by. I appreciate the support you've shown to my channel. Go buy my coffee mug. <laughs> uh, I'll leave a link in the description so you can go and do that. It's a nice coffee mug. I use mine um, and somebody suggested that maybe if I like it, they want it one. Maybe other people would like it. So if you want one, the link is in the description. Go buy you one. Support my channel. Anyway, I appreciate you guys stopping by. Keep stacking. Peace.